Mopar Performance Wipers. seen this but this is my new phone setup and dash setup instead of having my phone right here like I did when we went to Utah and my tablet over here at this bar and the only bad thing I got to say about it is get the black one the red one matches that dash perfectly on the Rubicon but I don't know if you can see it in the glass but right along the top here in the glass the reflection you see the bar and if you're like me, little things like that annoy the crap out of me. So I think if it was a black one, you wouldn't notice it because you know, the dash is black. But I mean, I even went to the point where I put felt tape on here because this would reflect onto the dashboard and um, just annoy the crap out of me. We're installing the Mopar wiper, performance wiper kit today and it's, Pretty easy. Um, I've had the cowl off before on this when I ran the wires for the radio and stuff. But from the factory, the wiper spray from those rubber mats right there that the windshield lays down on when you um, fold down the windshield. But when you spray it, you know, it sprays from there. So it has to probably travel two feet to get there. And my wipers are worn out right now anyway, so I do have to replace the wiper blades. So we decided to just do this all at once. The small part kit came out of maybe a week or two ago. All right, we're unboxing the Jeep Performance Mopar wipers. This will work on any newer Gladiator or Wrangler. That's the part number. Comes in a box like this. Comes with two extra inserts. Comes with instructions and the connect hoses and zip ties. And this is what you're getting. Jeep logo on there and it has a little nozzle a wiper sprayer so when you hit the sprayer you actually have the water come out of these holes right here so see how those holes that are drilled in there it's only on one side it appears so real quick we have 15 millimeter bolts on each one of these wipe arms just take that 15 millimeter nut off and then what I do is I rock it back and forth, unless you have a puller. I have the instructions over there, I'll show them to you, but you don't need a puller. You can just take them and rock them back and forth and they'll kind of pop loose and just pull them off. And then I got a plastic trim tool. And what you're gonna do is kind of work your way around it. It's just held in by clips, no bolts or anything. And uh, just work your way around this. This is plastic, so it ain't gonna hurt nothing. So once you undo all the clips, you can kind of just pull this off and that will allow you to access the hoses, which you need to tee into the hoses. But coming back over here, these are the wiper blades. Um, they got quick connect fittings on them, the T adapter, and here's the install. So obviously, like I said, you don't have to have that puller to pull it off but you're gonna use these clips right here and attach them to the arms. Um, and then connect the Y adapter. OEM hose, OEM connector right there. And put just put it all back together easy peasy so it's a very simple install the instructions didn't come with it it came with a little thing to scan to pull it up on your phone a pdf and then you print it out from there so let me get the arms off or let me get the cowl off and i'll kind of walk you through it all right so what you want to do is undo the clip here and just i already kind of did it but so it's just got a hook on it the hook it's got slides in there so we're gonna take the old one off take the new one it only goes one way guys you can't put it on backwards so the uh, sprayer will be on top and then what you want to do is flip it over so you see the spring so it wants you to route it route it through the spring so so what you want to do is route it through the spring that so we're gonna route it through the spring like so and then all the way up 
into all the way up into the nozzle in the nozzle right there through the spring so these clips that come with it the little clips that's what holds it in so you want to click them in right about here it looks like all right this is how the clips go in we have a clip going right here let me flip this over so one of the clips goes right here and the other one goes right here so you kind of put it in over here and kind of move it over till it locks this one's kind of a little bit flimsy but it goes right here where the changeover happens and i don't know zip tied down the line might make more sense but that's the way it looks on here is right where right where it goes in and then the other one is right there on the inside basically that's how it goes we're gonna do the same to the other one so we're gonna do the same to the other one and then i'll show you how to tee it in all right now that we got both wipers pre-assembled we're gonna go to right here this is the wiper where it goes to the hood to the washers and we're gonna unhook this um, we just got to disassemble the one hose that does not have the protector on it. So those two have the protector on it. So you need this then. So same thing. Feed it through under here. Feed it through. I'll show you guys in a second. All right. So feed it through, starting right here. You're gonna come through. You see I'm wiggling it, right? come through there and then go under this styrofoam piece and you're gonna come out right here. So I already have stuff running through here but so you're gonna come out right here by my air be different. I'm gonna come back up here. So the long one is gonna run over here. The short one so as you can see on this one right here you want to run like that. So it's gonna come through here and kind of lean lean like that. And then the other one's gonna run all the way down on the inside, obviously. So you're gonna go above the wiper motor. And then you're gonna kind of lay it on top of that. Lay it on top of that right there. Lay that on top of that right there. So when you put your cowl back on, you can feed that through. There. So there's no 90 degree bend in it. It's just, we're gonna keep the 90 degree bend on this. So just pull this out of the rubber and then tee that in. That way it's nice and tight. All right, I'm ready to close the hood and just finish up. Put the cowl back in. But the wiper, the old wiper hose, I just double zip tied it up out of the way for the old hose, the new hose is routed down right here, going in here. I put a single zip tie right here to kind of hold it together. And let's close it down and put the uh, cowl back in with the wipers. All right, two zip ties I put on. One right here next to that zip tie grommet there. This is kind of gonna feed through right here. It's got some play. And then the second one I put right about here. And this is gonna, you know, come up right through there. Um, just a little bit of play we can we have right there. The main thing is you don't want it to come down and this bottom rod right here, so this bottom rod, that moves back and forth real, really quick. So you basically don't want it to get caught up down there. So right here, zip tie, right here, zip tie. I'm gonna cut these off and just put the cowl on. All right, we just set the cowl down. So it's gonna come up like that. So this is a, there's a rubber grommet under there, so it's not gonna pinch anything, but you want it coming out like that. Um, and just kind of push all the clips back in, make your way around. So obviously coming back through here. Like that. That's my plug. I used to have a, uh, but, uh, there you go. So see that comes out just like that. And the other side looks good too. 
Now we're gonna put the wipers on and I'll show you how that works. All right, putting the wipers back on, I don't know if you can see my line right there where the wipers normally sit, but both wipers are the same. So you kind of see how that's just gonna match up right there. And then you gotta center that on there before you turn them on. So hold on, gonna go like that. I'm gonna make sure that that's centered on your little dirt line. See the dirt line on there? Can you see it with the reflection? But I'm gonna put a nut back on there. Here's the final result. This took me about an hour to do while filming with the bell curve. So you can probably get this done in a half hour if you know. So there's basically a one millimeter gap in between here. So we'll let that cycle a couple times and see if anything is rubbing. It should be good. Yeah, so that hose is just gonna flex like that. Plenty of room. There's plenty of room in there, plenty of flex. Same with that. So we're gonna spray, but there it goes. That's cool. All right, well, that's pretty much it. The Mopar performance wiper kit. I have the part number in there, link to the description. And that's pretty much it, simple install. Thanks for watching.